a whole nother love trio, or I guess we're gonna say love quadruple for this one. Cyclops now, let's get started with Cyclops. Cyclops, is, is his turn now to interview, to get interviewed by Trish Tilby. So first off, Cyclops, he's kind of feeling, seeing nervous, he's standing up, and they're like, yo, Cyclops, don't move too much. Uh, you, you, your eyes basically is glaring in the camera. So he's like, yo, take your shades off, Cyclops. And Cyclops is like, what are you talking about? I can't take that off, that's dangerous. And he just go, he's like, it's, it's an awkward moment. So next, right on, they end up changing the scenes. And remember, this is being TV, it's just like a Gail, Gail King interview. All the broadcasting team, the production team behind them. They go, they sitting down now, and Cyclops is basically trying to talk X-Men talk, like, yeah, I'm the leader, this is what I have to deal with, and we gotta deal with all these different issues. And Trish Tilby is like, no, 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 Cyclops. You know, we not here for that, we wanna hear about Jean. So basically, she just wanna hear gossip talk, and Cyclops is like, wait, what? That's what you want me for? So that's when, if we get into the other situation now, Wolverine, he ends up walking where Jean is, and Jean is going through all of these memories, thinking about the times with Cyclops. So now, Wolverine is like, yo, Jean, I didn't know you was gonna skip the interview as well. And basically, they started breaking down why they skipped the interview. Wolverine, you know, Wolverine is Wolverine. He don't really got time for all that stuff. Jean is basically like, her and Cyclops haven't been seeing eye to eye since all that Madeline Pryor, all that Mr. Sinister stuff that happened. Since Nathan had to leave, the son had to um get go, you know, go to the future to save his life, things haven't been the same, basically. She's breaking down. And um basically, long story short, she's trying to go back into time and think, ever since we was younger and the Phoenix first came into my life, things was were not the same with um me and um Cyclops. And Wolverine's like, yo, the past is the past. Leave that alone. This is the time you can start all over and have a refresh life the way you choose. Basically, like we said, the power of now. Nowness is everything. The past was once now. The future is now that's gonna happen in a later time. But even any way you wanna look at this, even now is now. The point here is that when Wolverine lets Gene know Leave the past alone. Gene realizes like, yo, I forgot how old you were and how wise you were. And I forgot looking in your eyes how much you really care about me. And they get into this little moment and Gene just grabs him and kisses Wolverine. Wolverine is like shocked, don't know what to do. But he automatically is like upset. Like, yo, you know this ain't right. And Wolverine did some G'd up stuff. Basically, Wolverine is like, listen, we gonna leave this behind. You got Scott, I'm over here by myself and that's the rules you just had a little slip up in your mind and you lost yourself we all do it we don't got to bring it up no more don't ever talk about it leave it alone and he just walks away basically so after that kiss it goes right into the cyclops and trish tilby interview now this time cyclops is already talking about gene and talking about how they met in the past and how things were and what he wanted to be moving forward and then out of nowhere Trish Tilby is like, all right, I understand that about you and Gene, but yeah, tell us about parenthood. And Cyclops is like, what? What are you talking about? We don't have no kids. So Trish Tilby was like, are you sure you and Gene don't have a child? And Cyclops is like, no. Trish Tilby brung out the, all of the receipts. Like, well, we got proof from the doctor who said he didn't want to perform on you guys. Basically, he was there. He noticed that you forced the doc one another doctor. Um, you force your partner Rogue to take the powers from another doctor to perform the C-section and everything or them. Or what, and then it was basically Cyclops is just standing there, sitting there looking stupid and getting called out. And Trish Tilby is like, yo, why did you lie? And Cyclops is basically, this is where he crashes out. Long story short. Shout out to anybody who's been watching the page and you've been seeing all of the, um, animations i've been doing about um no jumper and brick baby and all of that stuff this reminded me of the brick baby crash out like so first cyclops is like you know what i didn't want to tell y'all because i i i wanted to lie to y'all because y'all don't deserve me y'all ungrateful y'all don't understand what we have to do all the time cyclops just blacks out on trish tilby and she's shocked like i'm here just trying to help the x-men out i came here just to show you and the world 
that X-Men, uh, mutants, and humans are one and alike. We can hang together. We can interview together. We're the same. We all just people. We have regular lives. So why would you lie to me like that? And Cyclops, that was his opportunity to kind of say something powerful and positive. He bat blacked out. He's like, y'all are ungrateful. I don't care about this. As a matter of fact, you lucky that you basically alive. And he just walks out, storms out of there. So that was a crazy situation. Don't really see Cyclops like that. But we did when Cyclops crashed out because he realized he didn't want to be like a deadbeat dad to Nathan. And he had to let Bishop take Nathan and get the cure in the future. Cyclops was spazzing and he crashed out. So that was that's the only time that reminded me of Cyclops losing his cool like that. But now 